thank you. Well, coach, obviously, thank you for doing this. Congratulations on a fantastic season. Let's just start with last weekend to beat that NC State team 4-0. What does that say about your team heading into Orlando? Um, well, we feel confident, that's for sure. Um, that's, a, that's a heck of a team. You know, they're solid up and down the lineup. They've got a great one, and, and they're very well coached by, by two great coaches there for sure. So uh, we knew they were going to be ready. They, got, they came out of the gates hot. They, they let us have it. Uh, we felt there was maybe a little bit of pressure on us. I think our guys, you know, we were dealing with that early in the week, but our guys, uh, first time hosting, probably felt a little bit of pressure to get through home court advantage. Um, and it was a new situation for our guys, but ultimately, uh, the wake up call that NC State gave us early in dubs sparked the energy and, and it became a pretty exciting, pretty intense dual match from that point on. And, uh, our boys have the reps of playing in conference of being in that environment consistently. And so it, it felt like it felt pretty comfortable as the match went on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you guys are now 17 and nine, uh, played a fantastic SEC tournament, make the semifinals, and now the two wins in the kickoff weekend. If I would have told you, or the kickoff of the NCAA tournament, if I would have told you at the start of the season, you'd have played 26 matches at this point of the year, you know, would you have said, no way, I don't believe that? Or, you know, looking back, do you feel like you got to play a relatively normal season? Yeah, I mean, we got to be, we got to play a normal season. We got to play a, an, an entire year, basically. Um, I think that's a testament to our conference. They did a, a phenomenal job. They fought for us. They they put together task force. I mean, we spent a lot of time on the phone, head coaches meetings every single week, uh, trying to dig into how it was going to work and and proposing certain things. We had all the ads on, and and it was. It was a collaborative effort from the very top down inside the SEC and all of the ADs amongst all the schools. They were very invested in getting us a, a, an advantage as far as what we were bringing to the table, um, you know, and, and allowing us to compete all year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, 17 and nine for you guys this season, it seems rare to say, but this might be the one year that was actually set up for teams to be peaking heading into the postseason, just given how spread out it all was. Do you feel like you have a team that is, you know, peaking and maybe their healthiest heading into this final week? Possibly, possibly. Yeah, we've done a, a you know, we take pride in our program. We statistically gotten better as the year goes on every single year. It's I think we, we do, we build um, everything is for postseason. That's something we've always talked about. Um, I get a little scared when we're coming out of the gates pretty hot early because uh, it is hard to sustain. That is that is real um, because the college season, there are no gaps really in, in, in that's not exactly something that's standard for most tennis players or anything that they've ever done. You know, you always build and come down and build back up. And that's tough to do inside a, a season, especially in a conference such as ours, where there's probably 10, 11, 12 teams that are, that are pretty tough. So, um, you know, I think we, we've built a, an intensity and a toughness around our squad. That's kind of what our program resonates with. And, and so as the season goes on, some teams sort of go South and we keep on trucking. So, I think our guys are where they need to be. It's an exciting time. It's an exciting time for our guys. It's all new frontier here. And uh, we're going to go into it eyes wide open. Mm -hmm. And you obviously have a relationship with Orlando. The last time you were there, Paul Jubb brought home a NCAA title for your program. Heading back down there, you know the conditions. You guys have Texas round of 16. What's it going to take to get the job done? Oh, well, you know, they're defending national champs as, as, uh, as a team. So you know, I think there's a lot of belief on their end. They've had a great year, uh, you know, a great year. And I think there's a lot of belief and expectation that, that they can do it again. Um, you know, what we're going to bring to the table is, is our standards. We're going to match whatever they're bringing as far as energy and intensity. And, and I think level-wise, we're, we're right there, you know. But, but all that's going to be determined on match day. You know, we're going to go out there and do what we do. And we'll move with the match. And if we need to raise our level, we'll raise our level and, and so on. So, we're excited. You know, we never really get to play teams like Texas. And so we have no idea how good they are this year. And, and that'll be determined on Monday at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck to you, coach. Hopefully we'll see you down in Orlando. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Greg, do you have anything for coach? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Josh, I wanted to ask you real quick, just talk a little bit about, you know, we've talked kind of up and down your lineup, but talk about Thomas Brown a little bit more. I mean, what he's been able to contribute late in the season, um, you know, kind of as a local kid, at, you know, his senior season and that kind of stuff. It's, it's awesome. You know, I mean, I, 
I was just thinking about it the other day, to be honest, about how how cool it is that, that Thomas is able to get in right now. In the biggest part of our year, he's had, you know, he's had a few niggles this year as far as injuries and so on, where it's sidelined him and hasn't really gotten the traction that he that he's really earned, to be honest. Um, he did an unbelievable job build throughout his four years. He's gotten in. He's won some big matches for us. Uh, every challenge that I've thrown in front of him since the beginning of his career, he's, you know, even if there's been doubt that he can do it, he's stuck with it and pushed through. Uh, and, you know, and, and overcome every single one of those, those benchmarks. And, and for him to come in right now, you know, it's not a surprise that he's able to be successful with the level that he's bringing. I mean, he's a, he's a heck of a player and his level was absolutely at lineup um, all year. It's just the momentum of, of kind of what he's been able to bring is it's been stagnant, you know, or, or it's been, uh, you know, sideline. He's been sidelined with some of those little things here and there that really haven't gotten him in to get the traction he deserves. And so to get him in right now uh, when we need him the most and for him to be successful and come in and, and clutch it out without having that many reps, you know, it's, it's just, it's amazing one, um, but it's really a testament to what he's able to bring and what he's, what he's trained himself to do. So, you know, the, the story is amazing. You know, I mean, TB story is absolutely amazing. He's a, he came to my, our tennis camp when he was 14 years old, you know, and, and part of that was, you know, he was the best player in the camp, but, but, but not by far. And the levels that he's been able to jump since that day, you know, he set his sights on, I want to play for South Carolina. And I remember going to watch him play and I'm like, he's going to have to work. I mean, he's going to have to put a lot of work in to be a lineup guy here. And that was the talk we had. And he said, well, I'm up for it. And I've heard that from a lot of guys, you know, I'm up for it, coach. I can do this. And it sounds all great, but TB is one of the very few guys that's accomplished that. And, um, you know, a kid from Sumter winning last match, sending us to the Sweet 16. There's not a better story than that. Does that cool. sort of set a tone for the rest of your team too? Like to see a guy like him kind of put in that work and then get the glory too? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, for the most part in our starting six, that is, that's what we do. You know, I mean, our guys, like I said, this is the most dedicated team I've had uh, since I've been the head coach here. You know, this is, you know, really any team that I've coached, to be honest, in, my, in all of my coaching career, no matter where I've been. This is by far the most dedicated team I, I, I've had. And TB's, TB's a part of that crew. He's been a leader in that, you know, getting guys out there. He's a leader as far as the fitness goes, and we've spoken about that. But, but yeah, it's, it resonates throughout the squad. So, you know, he's getting what he deserves, uh, you know, because he's earned it. And, and I think Danny and so on and Connor and Toby and Raf and Jake, you know, uh, all of them, every guy there that's in that lineup has, deserves to be there because they've earned the right to be successful.